Because to be discouraged and take take down. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. God is good. We want to welcome. Amen. All of our viewers. Amen. On Facebook. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. And we just want you to sit back and enjoy the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord on today. Amen. I'm asking my wife. She's going to come. Amen. And bring the word of the living God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, baby. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, baby. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. We a team. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are one. Yes, God. Amen. I thank God for today. Amen. Yes, Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, Lord. It's yes. an awesome day. Hallelujah. Yes. It's an excellent day. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. There's nothing bad about this day. Hallelujah. Oh, because it came from the Lord. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. And we shall rejoice oh, and we shall be glad yes. in it. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we can be, be glad in something that came from God. Hallelujah. Right. Praise God. Because everything that came from God is good. Yes, right. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. I'm trying not to be long. Hallelujah. But hallelujah, the Lord gave me a word for today. Amen. And it's hallelujah, the Lord revealed to me that it's not his will for people to be hollow-minded. Oh, that's good. Amen. And when he gave that to me, I didn't even know what hollow mind it was. Hallelujah. Yeah, <laughs> amen. But how many of you know that when God gives you something, amen, it's best to check it out. Go in the word. Amen. And check it out because God is not going to tell you nothing that's not in his word. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So I went in the word. Hallelujah. The word of God and God led me. Amen. To um, hollow mind. Praise God. Amen. And uh, the Hebrew word for hollow is nabab, N-A-B-A-B, meaning foolish, vain, empty. Amen. Hallelujah. The dictionary meaning is without substance or character, vain, void of truth or validity. Hallelujah. Amen. My main scripture will be coming from Job chapter 11 and verse 12. Job chapter 11 and verse 12. Praise God. When you dare say amen, hallelujah. Job chapter 11 and verse 12. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Job chapter 11 and verse 12. Is everyone there? Amen. Amen. And it reads as follows. For vain men would be wise, though men be born like a wild ass colt. Amen. So I went and found the Hebrew interpretation of that, of Job 11 and verse 12. And the Hebrew interpretation reads, but vain man is void of understanding. Uh, Yea, man is born as a wild ass colt. Amen. So that word vain, as we have uh, saw in the definition of hollow, means empty. Uh -huh. Amen. And so, hallelujah, a wild animal is a wild animal is one exhibiting uncontrolled behavior yes. and are dangerous to humans. God always used natural things to describe a spiritual state or matter. Uh -huh. yes. Praise God. My scripture references will be coming from Psalms 32 and verse 9. Psalms 32 and verse 9. Praise God. When you there say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Psalms 32 and verse 9. The Lord is going to show us what it means to be hollow mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Psalms 32 and verse 9. And it reads, Be ye not as the horse, or as the moon, which have no understanding. See, God don't want us without his understanding. That's right. He said, in all that getting, get an understanding. It said, whose mouth must be held in with a bit or bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Amen. They have to be tamed. Amen. Because if they come near unto thee, they can do you harm. Because they are considered wild. Amen. They are without understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. They can do you harm. So you have to be careful. Amen. When dealing with a wild horse. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they can kill you. Amen. And so he's describing, he's using the, 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 um, the state of a, of a wild horse to describe the spiritual state of a hollow-minded person. Uh, on, Praise sir. be to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. And so, Proverbs 30, if you would go there, Proverbs 30, chapter 30. Proverbs 30, verse 2, 3, and 4. Amen. When you're there, say amen. 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 Praise God. Proverbs 30, verses 2, 3, and 4. Praise God. Glory be to God. We'll make sure everyone is there. I'm not going to rush anyone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And it reads, Surely I am more. Now these are the words of a Lord. And he says, surely I am more brutish. And that word brutish means stupid, ludicrous, unreasonable, foolish. Amen. So he said, surely I am more brutish, more, I am more stupid, ludicrous, ludicrous, unreasonable, and foolish than any man. Wow. And have not the understanding of a man. I neither learn wisdom, nor have the knowledge of the holy who have descended up into heaven or descended. So he's asking a question here. He said, who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the winds in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Baby, will you read Proverbs uh, 30? We stand in uh, 30. Uh, go down to uh, verse 11. Read it, 11 through 14. Okay, 11 through 14, Proverbs 30, 11 through 14. Yes. There is a great generation that curses their father and does not bless their mother. Amen. There is a generation that are pure. Oh, man. Yes, because we want, we want everybody to hear this clearly. Okay. There is a generation whose teeth are as the soap. Is that why I still call it? Twelve. Twelve, okay. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes yes. and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Oh, my God. There is a generation. Oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from the earth and the needed from among men. Oh Amen. God. Thank you, honey. Somebody say hollow minded. Hollow minded. Hollow minded. Amen. These are the characteristics of a hollow minded person. Uh -huh. Amen. That does these things. Yes, well, they minds are empty. They mind is void of truth. So yeah. what is truth? What are we talking about truth? Because there are different kinds of truth. But when we talk about truth, we're talking about the word of God. The word of God. This is this is the truth. Amen. That God wants us to walk in. That God wants us to be our minds to be yes, renewed by. Amen. Hallelujah. And so when our minds are not renewed by the word of God, which is truth. 
Amen. When we are void of the understanding and revelation of God's truth, yes. we walk in, we end up having a hollow mind. Yes, so true. Amen. Like uh, Job chapter 5 and verse 13. If you would go there. Job chapter 5 and verse 13. Amen, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Job chapter 5 and verse 13. Amen. And it was talking about the, the eyelid being lifted. That means these people, they exalt themselves. They lift it up in pride. They are very arrogant. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Uh, Job chapter 5 verse 13 and it reads as follows he taketh he taketh the wise and that word take a mean to capture uh -huh. is that he taketh he captured the wise in their own craftiness amen uh -huh. and the counsel of the forward that word forward mean cunning uh -huh. the counsel of the forward the cunning is carried headlong Psalm 7, Psalms chapter 7, and verse 16 reads, His mischief shall return upon his own head. Amen. Amen. And his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. And that word pate means head. It shall come up down upon his own head. Amen. Because God sees everything. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 19 reads, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise wow. and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Right. Amen. So this tells you that no matter how much education you get out here, That's right. amen, on, and you exalt yourself, God is saying right here that he would destroy the wisdom of the wise. That's right, he yes, yes, yes. And he said that he would bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Because the wisdom of God is greater than the wisdom of this earth. Oh, yes, right. it is. Amen. Hallelujah. James chapter 1 verse 5 says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask a God that giveth to all men liberally yes, yes. and upbraideth not, yes, uh -huh. and it shall be given. See, God wants us to have his wisdom. Yes, yes. You can have all the education in the world right, and not have the wisdom of God. Yes. Right. You need the wisdom of God. Amen. Yes, I'm on this earth. You need the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God will take you farther than a, 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 a diploma. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Amen. A master's degree. The wisdom of God will take you farther. Take you amen. Farther. Hallelujah. Praise God. We need the wisdom of God. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Good Romans chapter 1 verse 29. Amen. Romans chapter 1 verse 29. Yes, yes. Praise be to God. Mm, that's good. Yes, Glory to God. You're doing good. Great Romans chapter 1 verse 29. Uh -huh. And right here we're going to lay, we're going to I'm going to explain to you the hollow-minded person. I'm going to break it down to you. Romans chapter 1, verse 29. This is the, the mind of a hollow-minded person. Right, the right. characteristics. Ho a hollow-minded person is filled with all unrighteousness, as you would read in verse 29. Uh -huh. They are filled with all unrighteousness. Fornication wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate. They love to debate. They are deceitful. You can't trust a hollow-minded person. Malignity, bad character, 
depravity of heart and life. Yeah. They are crafty. Amen. They are whisperers. In the Bible, I read a scripture where it said that whisperers, they, they, they divide friends. They go around, they divide friends. They go and they, and they whisper. They, they, they destroy friendship. They, they destroy relationships. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. It said backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. Yeah. Yeah. Inventors of evil things. So that means there's going to be things that are invented that, that, that does not come from God. Well. Amen. Because we have heard that everything that is created was created of God. Uh -huh. But right here it says that they are inventors of evil things. So there are things that are being invented that it is, that is not of God. It is of the devil. It is evil. Oh, oh, oh. Amen. They are inventors of evil things. They are disobedient to parents without understanding. They are covenant breakers. They can't keep no promises. Don't trust them. They can't keep no promises. Without natural, without natural affection, they are hard-hearted, implacable, they are truth breakers. Yes. Unmerciful. This is, amen, this is the mind of a hollow minded person. This is darkness. They are void of the word of God. They are void of the characteristics of God. They are void of the love, the fruit. They are unfruitful. Amen. They have not. The Spirit of God, amen, oh that will help them to be fruitful, amen. Because when we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive all the characteristics of God. We receive who God is on the inside of us, his characteristics. We receive his integrity. We receive, amen, his goodness, his joy. All these things of God, that we, all the ways of God, we receive when we get filled with the Holy Ghost. And that's why it's important that every believer get filled with the Holy Ghost so that they can walk in the characteristics of God. Because the Bible tells us to meet the measure and the stature of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are not to idolize things. We are not to create images and, and worship images. Put rabbits, put rabbits and, and chains and, and different things, jewelry. Hallelujah. Amen. That people wear, amen, for good luck. Amen. We are not to create graven images. Amen. But, hallelujah, we are to worship the Lord. Amen. We are to meet the measure and the statue of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are to walk in the revelation of God. Amen. We are to renew our minds by the word of God. Hallelujah. That's what God is telling us on today. Be not, hallelujah, hollow-minded. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because what comes with the Holy Ghost is temperance. Hallelujah. And God wants us to have temperance. He wants us to have self-control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not supposed to be out of control. And that's one characteristic of a wild animal is they out of control. Hallelujah. And that's the characteristic of a hollow-minded person. Hallelujah. They're out of control. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. They walk not in the way of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They are born of the truth of God's word of who God is. Yes, yes. They are born of understanding. Amen. Yes, Lord. They need Jesus. Yes. Jesus is the light. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And when he when we receive the Holy Spirit, amen, he enlightens us. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Concerning the word of God. Hallelujah. Because we can't perceive. Hallelujah. All this truth, hallelujah, of God's word with our natural mind, hallelujah, because it was a scripture that said, who can understand the mind of Christ, hallelujah, who can understand the mind of God, hallelujah, but the spirit of God, hallelujah, amen, Jesus, hallelujah, he understands, hallelujah. 
hallelujah, that was in Christ oh, Jesus be also in us, hallelujah. We have to humble ourselves, hallelujah, under the mighty hands of God. We have to stay in the low place. Yeah. The one of the principles of the kingdom of God says, bless are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God, hallelujah. When we stay poor in spirit, hallelujah, always depending upon the Lord, be fed of God. Hallelujah. Yes. You can always get your least met of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. You can grow in the knowledge and revelation of God because you're not depending on your own knowledge. Yes. Because your own knowledge, this world knowledge is limited. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. But the knowledge of God, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. The knowledge of God is everlasting. Yes. Hallelujah. There is no limit. Hallelujah. To the knowledge of God, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And long as we on this earth, hallelujah, we can grow in the knowledge and the revelation of God, hallelujah. Glory be to God, the Lord wants us, hallelujah, to let this mind that was in Christ be in us. He don't want us to be hollow minded, hallelujah. Before we came, hallelujah, into the kingdom of God, before we were saved, we walked, hallelujah, in those ways, hallelujah. We was out, we was under control, hallelujah. We walked after the flesh and the lust of the flesh. We did whatever the mind said do, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we had no temperance. We had no love, hallelujah. Oh, we were back brothers. We were those that the Bible said that we walked according to the course of the earth before we got saved, hallelujah. But now that we are saved, hallelujah, now that we are born again, hallelujah, God want us to be hollow minded. God don't want our minds to be void. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And another way you can be void and have truth, the Bible says, is if you hold the truth of God. Hallelujah. If you hold it in an unrighteousness. Oh, glory be to God. So you mean to tell me, hallelujah, that you can be saved. Hallelujah. And that you can be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And you mean to tell me that you still can be void.
<laughs> you are hollow minded. Oh my God, my God. Hallelujah. You are hollow minded. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And God is saying, be not hollow minded. Be not hollow minded. Hallelujah. God don't want us walking after the ways and of the ways of the world, hallelujah. He saved us from that. He saved us from that mindset. Hallelujah. So when we come into his kingdom, hallelujah, he don't want us to continue on thinking with that mindset that we had before we got born again. Hallelujah. He don't want us to get caught up in this world and everything that's going on and get distracted and go to thinking like the world thinks. He don't want us doing that. The world says that black lives matter. But the wisdom of God says all oh, lives matter. This is the mindset. This is the mindset that we must keep, hallelujah, and hold on to. All lives matter. Jesus died. He sent his son for the whole world. Not just for one race, but for the whole world. And we have to think like, the, like Jesus did. We have to keep this mind. We have to keep this mind. Woo. Don't get caught up. That's right. Don't get caught up in what's going on out there in the world. Uh-huh. Don't get caught up in that. We have to let our mind stay on Jesus. Yes. And when our mind stay on Jesus, the Bible says he will keep us in perfect peace. Yes. Whose minds are stayed upon him. We have to renew our mind daily. Yes, we do. Daily in the word of God. Because the enemy is going to always come and attack your mind and try to bring thoughts into your mind. Hallelujah. That's not of God. We have to be watchful of Satan devices. We have to be watchful of Satan devices. And God is telling us on today, be not hollow minded. Be not hollow minded. Being hollow minded is void. Void of truth. Void of character. You have no character if you hollow minded. You have no integrity. You have no patience. A hollow minded person don't have patience with people. That's right. Yeah. A hollow minded person is, is selfish. Selfish, that's right. A hollow minded person is evil. Amen. Their thoughts are evil. They have respect of person. Yes. But when you come into Christ, you have no respect of person. Amen. You love everybody. Whether they educated, whether they're not. You love them. And you don't put yourself above them or you don't think that you are above them just because you got a degree. Well, because in the eyes of God, we are all equal. We all he loves us the same. Woo, glory, to glory be to God. So the word says, be not hollow mind. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Be not hollow minded. Praise the Lord. I want to say to all of our viewers, you have heard the message on today. Be not hollow minded, but having the mind of Christ. We want to thank all of y'all that have tuned in. Glory to God to be with us at our service on this morning. And uh, if anybody don't know Jesus, now is the best time to get to know Amen. Jesus. The Bible says, Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. I'm going to pray for you right now in case there are anyone that need healing in their bodies or you have loved ones that need to be saved. I want you to know this, but with the Lord all things are possible. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this privilege that we can come boldly to the throne of grace. And Father, I come on behalf of your precious people. Some have illnesses in their bodies. I'm asking you, Jesus, to heal them. There are those that have loved ones that's gone astray, that's lost. Father, I pray that you would just touch them right now and draw them in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you and I pray for your people, those that need a miracle on today. God, give them a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the Bullock family right now, Sister Linda. I pray for a miracle to take place in her body instantly right now in the mighty name of Jesus. 
and not only her, but many others that are sick and have loved ones in the hospital. Lord, I'm praying right now that you would work miracles and that you would heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. We get ready to get out of here, but we want to thank God for every last one of you that have tuned in. If you don't remember nothing else, I want you to remember this here, that Jesus loves you, and I do too. Praise the Lord.